what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i want to do something a bit different i want to start with by just sharing a little workout that i've done today i might look a bit different that's because i just had a haircut at home uh yeah so as you guys know i do like doing my exercises and luckily i do have some equipment at home so here's a little workout i done at home now if you don't have uh, exercise equipment it's not really essential you can do body weight exercises or you can grab water bottles or anything basically that weighs a little bit so try out some of those stuff this is mainly focused on my legs and uh, yeah so this is my leg workout hopefully you enjoy this and let's see what else the day brings us So I've had quite a few requests of people ask me to do more videos regarding Bitcoin and physical metals like silver or gold. And in today's video, I actually just received a new order of some more metals. So I decided today is another day I'll do a video um, discussing my opinions um, with physical metals versus cryptocurrencies. So all this while I'm telling you now is just my opinion, my thoughts, and uh, this is not financial advice or any advice what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, because it's just my personal thoughts, okay? And uh, first of all, let's just show you a couple of new things that arrived, uh, because as I said, I really do enjoy these things. So here's 500 gram silver bars, and actually quite heavy. We've got a couple of these and um, picked up a few little gold bars. So these are one gram bars. See if we'll focus. So we've got another one here. 
and then we got this bar here which is a five gram gold bar and this is another one gram bar so slightly different stuff that i showed you in my previous video besides the point of my hobby you know having these physical metals i want to talk about why i think you know holding money in uh, stuff like physical metals is a good idea or cryptocurrencies so we're going to start first talking about the physical metals because as it's in my hand why not start with this so physical metals what people have to realize is that if you buy you know with your money or currency physical metals like gold silver or other physical metals like uh, palladium rhodium stuff like that i mean I, I personally like to stick to the basic stuff like gold and silver so long term, your money will be safe. You know, I mean, if you buy, as I, I think I did mention this on a previous video, but if you put, let's say, uh, 300 pounds on a 500 gram bar, or 400, whatever the price is, 400 pounds, if you put in money, currency into this thing, your money will be safe. It's not like you spent money on an item and it's spent like buying a, a, a new car, you know, value is just going to go down. Eventually, you, you'll just be losing money on this is storing money okay so you're not actually spending your money you're storing your money you can always sell this and get money back probably most of your money back or it depends really how how long you buy it for so there's two ways of doing this one is stacking and the second thing is investing so investing is more of a shorter term thing so you can buy these things when the prices are low when the price goes up you sell it with a profit um now and then you have stacking which you buy these things keep it for a long time and over a certain amount of years you decide you want to sell some so it can kind of kind of like a saving account i would say you know rather than putting money in the bank you can put money in stuff like this and long term you are kind of saving money the difference is by putting money in a saving account and pu putting money in stuff like this is that a saving account let's say you have five thousand pounds or five thousand dollars in a saving account your saving account is going to be five thousand dollars 10 years from now one year from now it's going to be the same amount and uh, this on the other hand is most likely going to go up now you might say okay your bank is giving you 0.1 percent or something interest a month but let's be realistic guys that's nothing okay this over five years is going to go up a lot more percentage wise than money in a bank and here is another very important point that actually right now it does matter so as of course you're all aware with the current situation in the world governments are printing money and america especially is printing like massive and massive amounts of money trillions six trillion dollars officially or maybe even more and the the effects that the the money that's being printed is going to have long term is going to be massive i mean inflation wise so let's say a, a one dollar note can buy in our drink in a few years time it's going to be two dollars why because inflation if that's inflation when countries governments print money so they basically dilute their own money it's like you cannot add value to your currency so if you just print more it's just diluting it and long term it's just going to be worth less if someone has now money in a saving account if they would start putting money in stuff like this okay and now necessarily it's not the cheapest time to buy gold but i personally believe it will still be going up a lot in the next few years or for many years to come especially with all this printing we're not going to feel the effects now it's going to take a couple of years until people start to feel it right and even you might say okay gold has already gone up 10 percent 15 percent since a couple of months ago even more actually but let's say let's just get, give an example right now, now it's not a good time to buy but let's be realistic if your money is in a saving account it's going to stay the same amount that long term your money will be valued less in the world or at the time you take it out so that's my opinion with metals okay now these things as i said you're not going to make money buying it short term this is more of a long term hold and it's more of a security thing more of a, a safe way to keep money stored and not to lose value over long oh guys this is an important disclaimer do not keep any precious metals at home keep them somewhere secure now we're going to talk about cryptocurrency as you guys know i do believe in certain cryptocurrencies and as I, when i say certain there are so many different cryptocurrencies out there and you do have to be careful because a lot of them are just in my opinion useless and scams and big chance that you lose your money 
Um, the point is that I think they ruin it for the real cryptocurrencies. And the number one cryptocurrency everyone knows is Bitcoin. And in my opinion, actually, Bitcoin right now is quite low price to buy as a long term investment rather than a safe haven like metal. Metals has a less risk rate in terms of keeping your money and uh, cryptocurrencies is quite a bit more risky i would say so so if i was looking to be more safe i would definitely say i would put my money into metals however if i'm willing to take risks i would risk with bitcoin or a couple of other cryptocurrencies like ethereum which is very very low price at the moment in my opinion and when i say low price these are for people who buy it for long term you're not going to be making money if you buy it for a month well you could make but the aim of this kind of thing is this investment is more of a long-term investment. So you buy and you hodl. You're not talking about trading. I'm talking about buying, okay? You buy it, you keep it in a ledger, a USB, a nano, and you save it away long-term. And one of the reasons, as I mentioned, because of the money printing, I believe cryptocurrency down the line will have effects as well from it. Also, a lot of people, especially the younger generation, are starting to understand more cryptocurrencies. The older generation are not so on it. They think it's more of a, a scam thing. And I definitely understand them because it is definitely something from our generation. And what you do need to understand is, guys, that younger people are growing up and younger people are starting to live with bitcoin or, or or hear about bitcoin it's becoming a lot more common among younger people and don't forget these younger people grow up so the point i'm trying to say is that the older generation don't really understand bitcoin or most of them i would say that's because they don't they haven't been they're more old-fashioned and they're used to the simple banking system and cash and all that kind of thing on the other hand younger people who are starting to understand or hear these things it's becoming more and more knowledgeable more and more people are hearing about it and i think long term as the younger people grow up and the older population disappears in my opinion i think cryptocurrency will be something down the line and therefore i think buying now and keeping it for long term could be a good payoff however as i did say it is a risk so this is not a risk cryptocurrency is a risk and when I say it's a risk, you have to be prepared to lose your money. So let's say you put in $5,000 into Bitcoin. You have to be prepared to lose that £5,000 if it goes down to zero. I personally don't believe that will happen. Or I don't think it will go down to zero anytime. However, it, this is the mindset you have to have in an investment. Now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen down the line with cryptocurrencies. So that's why I'm saying that's more of a risk. But if you're willing to take a risk... That might pay off and might not pay off that's the chances you have when taking risks but uh, if the risk does go well you might have a big reward so again it's something you have to be prepared if you do so guys this is my opinion versus metals versus crypto and i would definitely say you know like this old saying you never put all your eggs in one basket so you definitely want to diverse your your kind of portfolio so where there will be some metals um, some bitcoins some ethereums it's all up to you guys but this is just my thoughts and yeah let me know what you think about these kind of things if you like more of these type of videos because as i said i did do one video discussing this kind of stuff and i did get a few requests to do more kind of videos explaining my opinions on this so this is it and yeah please give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and uh, guys i'll see you on the next video bye now